There you are, Ezio. Why so serious? It's my birthday. Davvero? Cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. I'm so close to the end now, but... No closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Basta. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's L'Arsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious. And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. Ezio. Leonardo! When did you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boys. This better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. These last two codex pages. I was studying the copies. I don't know why I never saw it before. But when put together, I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here. The prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. Prophet? Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces of Eden. What are you saying? Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the Codex. Leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Grandioso. But if you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia? When the second piece is brought to the floating city, the Prophet will appear. Only the Prophet can open the vault. My God! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see. The killing of Mocenigo. Even the Medici. My father and brothers. It was all part of his plan. To find the vault. The Spaniard. Rodrigo Borcha. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend. Uncle Mario? Where are they taking it? The maestro awaits. He will not suffer mistakes. Package it correctly. Do it now. The Spaniards here? That changes things. If I can infiltrate this group, take the place of the courier, they'll lead me right to the Filio di Putana. <laughs> Sir. This is a moment of great importance. Stay in formation. Make this right. Do you really have it? You were not followed. Absolutely. Everything went perfectly. We have followed your orders exactly as specified. The mission to Cyprus was more difficult than expected. There were complications. But we have returned with the artifact, and have carefully transported it to you as instructed. We look forward to being generously compensated, as I'm sure you have already considered. <clears throat> what are you waiting for, courier? <gasps> it's you. It's been some time. <laughs> Rodrigo, so where is 
easy. Who? Your prophet. Doesn't look like anybody showed up, Rodrigo. How many people have died for these? For what's in this box? And look, there's nobody here. You claim not to be a believer, and yet here you are. Don't you see him? The prophet is already here. I am the prophet. Now give me the apple. Come and take it from me. Non ce la fai a colpirmi, eh? all you have. Where is the rest of your people? What people? You really have no idea, do you? Guards! Nepote, you are not alone. Olpe? What are you doing here? We could very well ask you the same thing. We? Save your questions, brother. Don't let Borja leave that box. Avanti! Sit down, Mitchell. We're right behind you. Come on, be good eyes! My gun! This is pathetic. You cannot stop what is written. What lies in the vault shall be mine. This is a losing battle for you, Ambrecito. You will die by my hand, just like your father. This war has been going on far longer than either of us have been the world. <laughs> Isn't this magnifico? The whole of us smashing these Templar heads together! No terrible, eh, Nipote. You've improved since the last time we fought together. Your brothers didn't need to die. I just killed them to make a point. There is no mercy when you cross the character. He's gone, but we have what we came for. No, I need to go after him. Do you really now? Or are you here for another reason, my son? Theodora, what? What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Hoping to see the prophet appear. I came here to kill the Spaniard. I couldn't care less about your prophet. He never showed up. No, but you did. What? A prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one we sought. Cosa? Who are you? Niccolò di Bernardo de Machiavelli. I am an assassin, trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you, and each one of us here. You are all assassins? 
Paola. Volpe. It's true, Nipote. We have all been guiding you for years, teaching you the skills you would need to join our ranks. I think it's time. We have our prize, but there is much to be done. Come, meet us here at sunset. La Shea Waka Umutlak Bel Kulun Munkin. These are the words spoken by our ancestors that lay at the heart of our creed. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember, nothing is true. Where other men are limited by morality or law, remember, everything is permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing, nothing is, is true. true. Everything, everything is, is permitted. permitted. It is time, Ezio. In this modern age, we are not so literal as our ancestors, but our seal is no less permanent. Are you ready to join us? I am. This only hurts for a while, brother. Like so many things. Benvenuto, Ezio. You are one of us now. Come, we have much to do. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What is it, Leonardo? What does it do? I could no more explain this than explain to you why the Earth goes around the Sun. You mean the Sun around the Earth? It's fabricated with materials that shouldn't exist. And yet, this is clearly a very ancient artifact. The Codex refers to it as a piece of Eden. The Spaniard. He called it the apple. Like Eve's apple, of forbidden knowledge. Are you then suggesting that this thing... This must never fall into the wrong hands. It would drive weaker minds insane. No doubt the Spaniard will be relentless in his desire to gain it back. Ezio. You must protect this with all the skills we have taught you. Take it to Forli. The citadel is walled, protected by cannons, and our ally controls it. Who is this ally? Her name is Katarina Sforza. You don't say. I think I may enjoy this mission. Thank you for everything, my oldest friend. Leonardo, Ezio tells me you travel off into Milano. I have a grand villa in Toscana. You must come visit me there. Well, well. Look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but... an assassin. Hmm. Walk with me, Caro. You're going to love Forli. The cannons in Architadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well... It was my husband's before, of course. He died. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> we discovered Girolamo Riario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. 
I never liked that goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed, and a pain in my ass. Look! Oh no! Aspetta! What's happening? They came as soon as you left the city walls, signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canali I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple before we even knew? Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. They're already inside. Double crossing bastards. Is there another way into this place? Aspetta. Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey, you! Yeah, I'm talking to you. You spineless dogs. You occupy my city, my home. You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come up there and rip your ballet off? What kind of men are you? I 
will do whatever you say. What? You then don't that he saw this little accident occur. Apri la porta. I want to know all about Apri it. Apri la porta, presto. It's an ambush. Taviano! Forgive me, Signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me! What a pleasant surprise! I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico and Keko, at your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, Signora. We'll happily give them back for something of yours. A certain map and a certain apple, brother. See, si, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village outside the city! You have one hour! <sighs> Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. Si. You have my word. Diablo needs to remain in the Citadel. Keep this safe. Keko and Ludovico Orsi. Bored with their leisurely life in the countryside, the Orsi brothers decided to spice things up a little. 
They started a money-lending business that was extremely successful, mostly because they killed anyone who didn't pay them back. Then, Katerina Sforza hired them to murder her Templar husband, Girolamo Riario, which they did in true cavalier fashion. They rode up to his palace, waltzed into the dining room, stabbed him in the chest, ransacked the estate, and left his naked body in the centre of town. According to Abstergo's files, Rodrigo Borgia, after escaping from Venice, offered to pay them for the recapture of the Peace of Eden. And, of course, Caterina's head. It was the Orsi brothers' idea to kidnap her children. I ask you, what has this world come to when the rich go so bad? It won't be enough. My mama is tears. We sports our women are no good in flowers. You may look pretty to get on my little brother's head. She will hunt you down and eat you for breakfast. Capito? Wait a minute. Don't you have anything to do while I'm waiting for you to die? But my brother, they're holding Ottaviano at the lighthouse. Let's go, Caterina. Show yourself. The apple on the map, or your kids are crippled. You're giving me a headache. This is your last chance, Katerina. The apple now, or I break the boy's legs. fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know, the maestro gains his price because of me. Mori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Requiescat in pace. Grazie, signore. What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Kirko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. 
But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. So, you have your prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> A prize of such value. It will not remain yours for long. We shall see. Che miseria nascono dalla vita. Requiescat in pace. Girolamo Savonarola, a Dominican friar from Ferrera, this man took his job seriously. He saw the excesses of his age, the rich stomping the poor into the dirt, the priests selling indulgences to the populace, and he went insane. Calling himself an instrument of God, Savonarola descended on Frenze. His sermons sent people into frenzies. He demanded an end to all personal property, to all progress, a return to Eden. Knowledge became the enemy and he could erase it all with the piece of Eden at his command. Books, paintings, musical instruments, he burned everything in the bonfire of the vanities. History unraveled as his legions took control, and Firenze descended into darkness. Are you all right? What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills, next to Kekko Orsi's dead body. See, that I remember. Wait, there was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... a missing finger. See, si. Katerina, I have to go right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolò spoke of. Your husband. Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncovered the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here, where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. Bringing Maria the feathers. I appreciate what you're trying to do for her, but you have to face facts. It's not working. Maybe you should focus on more important things. I've had a new weapon made for you at the blacksmith's. You can go pick it up whenever you want. I'm sorry, Ezio. Blessings on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure it was a finger. Hmm. Now wait a moment. I do recall a black-robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go in peace, brother. I always do. Excuse me, brother. 
I wonder if you can... Uh, unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! Please, no! I don't want to die! I only kill those who kill others. And your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us, for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother. If Piero had only a tenth of his father's talent, we'd still have some place to call home. Manfredo! What happened? Men. Savonarola's men. They came through, destroying everything. Where is Cristina? Manfredo! Where is she? She ran. They went after her. No! I'll get you to a doctor. You're going to be all right. No, Ezio. I don't think I am. No! Don't go. Stay with me, Cristina. Ezio, don't you know? I've always been with you. <sighs> I wish we could have had a second chance. My love. Never should have welcomed that mad monk into the city. Look at all the misery he's wrought. I don't understand why they'd be so willing to accept his oppression. Salve, Ezio. You picked a fine time for a homecoming. Then it's true. Savonarola has taken control of Firenze. Yes. No doubt aided by that treacherous artifact. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than you think. <laughs> When isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? Walk with me. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once reviled was suddenly the one they worshipped. Ah, the apple. Only in part. It's not the city he's in from, but its leaders. 
men possessed of influence and power. They, in turn, oppress the citizens and ensure his will is done. The people act as if they have no say in the matter. Rare is the man willing to oppose the status quo. And so it falls to us to help them see the truth. Those bodies bear the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze. And Firenze keeps sending them back. Usually in pieces. Then he knows the apple is here as well. An unfortunate complication. All right, this way. Falling. A direct assault would be dangerous. True. But what other option is there? Aside from the city leaders, the people's minds are their own. Correct? Si. And they follow Savonarola not by choice, but force and fear? Si. Then I propose we use this to our advantage. If we can silence his lieutenants and stir up discontent, he will be distracted, and I will have a chance to strike. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. They can help to organize the uprising as you free the districts. Then it's settled. I'll take care of his abettors. Turn around, there is nothing here for you. Uh, what do you think about him? But you, did he get clear? What's the matter with you, Owen of the Fiore? Reject the base and material. Seek salvation in the flames. An outrageous, a speaker, a preacher, a guide to those who had no more. What have I done? What have I done? Your actions were not your own. But they were. My own self-doubt let him hold me as he did. I am sorry. As am I. Non è una scelta. Compio a cuor leggero. Requiescat in pace. People of Firenze, come, gather round. Listen well to what I say. The end approaches. Now is the time to repent, to beg God's forgiveness. Don't you see? The signs are all around us. Unrest. Famine, disease, corruption. These are the harbingers of darkness. We must stand firm in our devotion, lest they consume us all. I see you, Da, that you think me mad. But did the Romans not say the same of Jesus? No, I too was sharing your fear. But that was before Savonarola came to me. He showed me the truth. At last, my you eyes were open. And so I... Your mind. Since it is your own. <laughs> Not all of us require deception. To be convinced. I already believed. All I said is true. Nothing is true. 
Non è un compito facile il mio. Requiescati in pace. Non si passa. Do you hear me? Until you've all submitted and given yourself over to the prophet, Savonarola, this bridge will remain closed to you. I hear you moaning and complaining. You say you have things to do, places to go, obligations to fulfill. Ha! You have but one obligation, to submit. Why fight us? Why resist? This city is ours. Your precious Medici have abandoned you, fled into the wastes to wallow in self-pity. Savonarola wants only the best for you. A city free of vice and temptation. A people united by faith. All men are equal in the eyes of the Lord. And so they shall be in Firenze. Lead you into a new future. He's there on him. <laughs> Noble's clothes. How is it Savonarola charmed you? Wealth and power do not ensure contentment. I wanted even more. And now instead, you have nothing. Questo non è che un atto dovuto. Requiescat in pace. Non si passa. Do you hear me? Until you've all submitted and given yourself over to the prophet, Savonarola, this bridge will remain closed to you. I hear you moaning and complaining. You say you have things to do, places to go, obligations to fulfill. Ha! You have but one obligation, to submit. Why fight us? Why resist? This city is ours. All men are equal in the eyes of the Lord, and so they shall be in Firenze. Lead you into a new future. He's there on him. <laughs> Close. How is it Savonarola charmed you? Wealth and power do not ensure contentment. I wanted even more. And now instead, you have nothing. Questo non è che un atto dovuto. Requiescat in pace. <laughs> Secure those crates. We can ill afford to let their contents fall into the wrong hands. We'll see just how tough the holdouts are when they all that remains. Is more. Tried to force devotion. Sometimes the people must be told what to think. No good has ever come of that. Benché il mio cuore sia turbato, la mia mente è lucida. Requiescat in pace. Get down, Storm! I see him! There! Your orders are simple. Keep watch over these fields and ensure no harm comes to the bundles of fear. Note. 
It may seem a mundane task, but it is critical nonetheless. Without his share, war and all the news are born of death. I hear you grumbling. You think that our very existence depends upon keeping all... You would have let your own people starve. And for what? Too long I suffered their insults. They called me simple and low class. I wanted their respect. I'm afraid you do not have mine. Per quanto sia benoso il trapasso, lieto sarà il tuo sonno. Requiescat in pace. Things are better under him! Under us! I was a victim. It's not my fault. No, you made the choice. He charmed me with that thing. Only because you allowed it. Lo faccio per il popolo. Reguiescat in pace. Omnipotens Deus, Rex Regum, et Omnium Gubernator. Ut nos tuis armis muniti, semper servemur, ab omnibus periculis. I thought... He preached the word of God. I fear his sermon is a lie. I led my flock astray. It's just... I wanted so badly to believe. We all do. Vedro computa. L'opera di mio padre. Requiescat in pace. It's quite simple, amici. If you desire care, you'll submit yourselves fully to our new ruler. When Marola came to us, we were mired in sin, gluttony, lust, pride, avarice, need I go on? We cared over much for earthly things and pleasures of the flesh. We shied from the face of God. And why wouldn't we? Shamed as we were at... You have spilled the blood of a healer. No, I've spilled the blood of a tyrant. To command such power over the body, between this world and the next, it seems I grew intoxicated. And now you grow still. La tua morte non sarà inutile. Requiescat in pace. Where is everyone? Ah, another challenger. Excellent. Savonarola warned me that some would oppose our rule, and so I devised this little trap to ferret out those foolish enough to play at hero. It's proven to be both entertaining and effective. Incoming Charmo! Get back! What a spectacle! Wonder just how long you'll survive. Another a few days back, made it through over three dozen of my men before he was finally put down. This interesting. Every day without pay. Another of you are coaches. Non-conformists. Male contenders. Revolutionaries. Rebellion. it all. Case the truth. I'm going to believe you're a champion of the downtrodden dead. 
hero come to free the sea? Which lie? What's wrong? Tell yourself. And do You're not be breathing. mistaken. These Let are lies. No matter what any of you say, you're all here for the same reason. The same selfish reason. You seek something. Gold. This trash rewards either physical, spiritual, or both. So which are you? Desire. Or perhaps some old deal. Did your father abuse you? Did other children tease you? Did a lover spurn you? If I had to guess, I would suspect that you are of insecurity. Why else do you wear the hood? Why do you hide your face from the world? Yourself. I see these words are wasted. Serving only to send you first. Ah, as you wish. Fight out. You can't hold out forever. Is this truly who I was? So proud and cruel. No. Savonarola bewitched you. Did he? Or was it that I tasted the power and found myself intoxicated? I wish I had been stronger. As do I. Mirin cresce, ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace. Where did he go? Now, which way did he go? You've done well, Maxi. What happens now? Watch. Silence! I demand silence! Why are you here? Why do you disturb me? You should be cleansing your home! Cleansing yourself! There are bonfires to feed, prayers to be said, penance to be done! You will do as I command! You will submit! Find the ambulance! It can't be far! Dio a giudicarti. 
Requiescat in pace. Silenzio! Silenzio! Twenty-two years ago, I stood where I stand now and watched my loved ones die. Betrayed by those I had called friends. Vengeance clouded my mind. It would have consumed me, were it not for the wisdom of a few strangers, who taught me to look past my instincts. They never preached answers, but guided me to learn from myself. We don't need anyone to tell us what to do. Not Savonarola, not the Merici. We are free to follow our own path. There are those who will take that freedom from us. Too many of you gladly give it. But it is our ability to choose whatever you think is true that makes us human. There is no book or teacher to give you the answers show you the path. Choose your own way. Do not follow me or anyone else. Ezio! It is time, uncle. Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Indeed. Perhaps now we can finally make sense of this prophecy, and put a stop to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. The Codex pages will lead us to it. Let's take a look. a map of the entire world, but there are lands shown here that do not exist. Apparently they do exist. I imagine they've yet to be discovered, or rediscovered. How is this possible? Perhaps the vault will hold the answer. Do you see where it is then? No. It can't be. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Roma. Then the Spaniard. This is why he became Pope. Now I understand. It's not the vault alone he's gained access to, but the staff as well. What staff? The Codex always spoke of two keys. Two pieces of Eden needed to open the vault. One is the apple. And the other is the staff. The paper staff is the second piece of Eden. For years, no, decades, we've sought these answers. And now, at last, we have them. But so too could the Spaniard. And if he does... If he finds a way into the vault, its contents will make the apple seem a trifling thing. I must go to Roma and find the vault. What are the rest of you? We'll do what we do best. Cause some trouble in the city, giving you the freedom to conduct your search. Just let me know when you are ready, Nipote. <laughs> <laughs> 